right, Dan. They, only seven years? Is that all? Uh, the science Dan is breaking down for us is on display for people of all ages at the Roper Mountain Science Center. 7 News anchor Diane Lee, you see her there at the watch party. So, Diane, tell us all about it. It was quite something, Gordon. 2,500 people all came together on this mountain to share in really a once in a lifetime experience. You guys have been saying that, and I completely agree after seeing it today. And Amy, I know you were talking at the beginning of the show about the number of people who came from all over. The Roper Mountain Science Museum formed this map to show all the people from different states in America. But check this out. As we follow the map down here, you can see a lot of folks from South America, and then over here, a ton of folks from Europe. And then we go over here, you've got India, you have one from Africa, and you have one from Australia, and then check all the way down here in Antarctica. There's one over here and one over here. So you had people from 29 different countries all come together to, uh, to again, share in this experience right here at the Roper Mountain Science Center. And what a day it was. I mean, it was just perfect. As Dan was saying, the weather was fantastic for this. So people just really enjoyed themselves, and we just felt like we were so lucky to be in this spot watching the eclipse, whereas places like Charleston really didn't have as great of weather as we did here in Greenville. Now, there there was a very lucky family that won a raffle to be the only family to be able to view the total eclipse and everything leading up to it inside Daniel Observatory at that historic telescope that was built in 1882 but still works beautifully today. They said they found out this morning and they were just floored. They never thought that they would win. I joked with him and said, hey, you haven't received a phone call, have you? And like. Yeah, a few seconds later, his cell phone rang, and he looked at it, he goes, I think that's them, and he answered. So, yeah, it. yeah, we got that phone call, and I was like, this is like, you know, once in a lifetime experience. So, you know, being able to have a private viewing through this telescope, and um, so it was, it was pretty cool. I thought it was really cool, and it was really good, so I really wanted to keep looking at it forever. And even if you couldn't see it through that amazing telescope, there were still some really neat things that you could do. For instance, there was a, a, a trick that you could play with paper and a pinhole, or even if you had a colander, where you could see through those pinholes little crescent moons all over the paper on the other side. So it was kind of fun to play with that today. And, and really, Gordon, I mean, you guys probably felt the same way when you watched it, but all around us, when the total eclipse hit and when you could see that little diamond ring, which was an effect right before it, there was just this collective mm -hmm. awe and it, it was just it was just truly amazing yeah it, it actually got quiet in downtown yes. greenville as as we hit that moment of totality i'm sure diane wherever you were including at rubber mountain it must have been the same thing it's just awesome to see it really was and the neat thing about where i was stationed at roper mountain i was down by the barn area so i also checked on the animals right before the total eclipse the pig had gone to sleep the chickens had gone to roost so all the animals <laughs> oh, wow. were affected by it too yeah i i, I wondered if the roosters would would crow <laughs> would a second crow. time that's when the so sun true. came back out that's diane lee